So let's talk about quantization. So remember quantization is what we do in the amplitude domain here. So, so if this is our signal here, we're dividing the amplitude into equal regions here. And um, so one of these steps here, let's call this here delta, this is our quantization step. So it's our quantization step, and that's defined obviously by by the minimum value here. So let's say this is our x min, and this is here our x max. And so then our quantization step delta is defined by x max minus x min divided by L minus 1. And these are the different the number of quantization levels. Yes, typical values for for L is for example 4096. That's 12 bit or 65,536, that's um, 16, 16 bits, and so on. So these are classical quantization steps. So now what we, what we do in the next step now, we just ask what is the error. So let's just now calculate this quantization error. So let's, um, let's calculate E Q of t. So how do we do this? Um, and the idea is that that we start with this linear development here. So, so that's our signal. Let's say the signal here at this point here at this point e q of t is zero. So at this point the quantization error is, is zero. So remember. This means that we are right in the middle of our quantization step. Yeah, so that's our delta here. So that's exactly in the middle of our quantization step. So this means the height of this here is delta half, and the height here is also delta half. So now what we can do is we can move a bit in time, and obviously the worst case scenario is here, so at minus tau and plus tau. So at these moments, if you have a signal here, this is still measured basically within this quantization interval where it's, where the error is maximum. And so, so in order to calculate this, this um, EQ of T for the other times, then obviously we just need to look at the slope here. So the slope here from to plus tau is then just uh, delta half. So the EQ of T is then just delta half. So that's here the Y, the Y bit here, and then multiplied by one over tau. So this gives us here the slope. And then we just multiply this by T here. So that's our momentary error. So it's obviously zero here and then it goes linearly up here. So now what we would like to do in the in the next step is next step integrate integrate over tau to get an average. Let's calculate now the power of the quantization error. So the power is defined as PQ 1 over tau and then integrated from 0 to tau over 
eq of t and then the whole thing squared dt so we just need to substitute our our eq into this this gives us 1 over tau 0 to tau and then and then we have here delta divided by 2 tau and then the squared dt squared t squared and dt so they are all constants so we can just move them to the front so we just need to deal with this integral here yeah so in this integral here is just t square this the integral gives us as a result a third and then t cubic here as a as a result so in therefore the final the final result then is delta square divided by 12 because this this tau here resulting resulting from from here nicely cancels out with a with a tau cubic here and then this is our power generated by the quantization what is the relative error relative error of the quantization noise the quantization noise to a sine wave so imagine we have got our analog sine wave here and then the quantization would generate something like that so we are introducing obviously errors here in this in this in this process so we are we have errors here to these steps and so so what's the power of a sine wave and this is just defined as 1 over tp and then again so tp means one period so that's our tp here reaches from here to here and then or oh, actually we take a cosine wave as usually in signal processing so and we square this dt so without boring you with details here the result is just a square half and so so and therefore the ratio between px and our pq is is then a square half multiplied by 12 divided by delta square and obviously so the two makes this a bit smaller here so then we've got here a square multiplied by 6 divided by delta square 